What's up guys, AK Crazy Russian with you today. We're going very easy step-by-step -step, uh, intro like to DCC. But today, and this is actually our uh, Patreon page to support our channel. So today I'm starting in DC mode. So kind of step-by-step -step prepare you guys to get to the DCC properly, to connect to your this layout to DCC so we have here and again it's just schematically very easy probably start laughing like a hey, crazy Russian again that easy yeah it's easy and we'll go to the tough stuff soon so that's my DC layout and you have engine you got like two engines on the Christmas tree they may be with DCC decoders because new DCC decoders supporting DC mode. So we have like old transformer or maybe new transformer, but it's DC. All right. That's our transformer. So now I just need to power it here with the, what I want to really guys to follow with the coloring. So every time I'm using black, it's going like outside the loop. Most of my diagrams and pretty much, I don't want to say it's really standard, but that's what mostly people are using. And this is going to inside the loop. So we're unpacking our brand new, maybe DCC, it, it doesn't matter. They will run on DC one engine and like, okay, cool. Turning my power on here on the transformer. Bingo. It starts running. Completed. Nice. Happy. <laughs> now I have another engine. All right. No problem. We'll get another engine here. Okay. And what's happening? Yeah, means I am powering again. And this guy starts running here. Wow, so cool. Under the Christmas tree, it's already over, but still. <laughs> nice. But now, I want a third engine. I got another third engine, and I want to keep it here and do some... Just want this guy stay here, right? But what's happened when uh, the power is on? This guy starts running this way, like, uh oh, I don't want to do it. Okay, we'll, we'll stop everything. Stopping. There's a nice feature of that uh, tablet. Like small arrays, not arrays all, but just uh, some areas. Very cool. All right, so we get rid of this. We stop everything, like, okay, we're definitely not doing doing not doing it so now I want to separate guys concentrate here on those areas I'll mark with that orange area one and area two okay one and two so we're going to make three separate blocks power district don't want to confuse with the numbers now pay attention right now because I'm changing color to white and this is my Dremel or if you already have it already like this see I'm cutting one rail here and I'll put a um, small like, orange insert here okay just one rail also here so we outside so I need to cut this here and I'll put orange like dielectric insert in this rail. So now if I'm powering my truck because no connections here and here okay, to that truck my engine this only engine will start running ok 
Okay. Because no power here and definitely uh, no power here. Cool. So we have three power districts. Let's say um, we'll name them with a the blue. So that's our let's say power district three this is our power district two and this is power district one all right so one two and three cool now we need to put some power in the power district two and three and control it so we get rid of that uh, red wire of course transform is off now I'm again I'm just drawing basic guys it can be a little bit different maybe atlas those like uh, switches usually like three in one um, switches on and off that's my first so we're going step by step so my I'm taking again my red wire going to here next not next to installation point and just like keep you like guys focusing here okay cool so and again now I can turn that transformer that engine start running back and forth or whatever in that area cool and in the future I can make a program with DCC that engine with a couple of other additional things I can run that engine um, back and forth all right no I don't want to overwhelm you so we cool excellent now I need to power my power district 2 maybe I'll change the terms later but today we're just using that PD um, abbreviation so we need a another switch we're putting this switch here maybe close to to the area yeah let's do that so that's my switch and taking red wire going internal loop so every time you connecting that means connecting the dot here that means it's connected if it's not can it's if it's just crossing over like this there is no connection be careful with the diagrams you need to read them properly all right so cool let's connect that thing excellent make it even nicer like proper diagram oh, perfect now I switch yeah so before we switch this and we turn it off now I switch this guy turn the power voila my power district 2 start running okay excellent happy what about power district 1 we need to power it so I'm taking and I'll mark them again so now cool cool very nice I'm taking making another switch here and when you're doing you do some uh, log kind of report uh, what you connecting where you connecting so we'll take this guy here I'm over switch but that's okay no problem it's under layout plugging it here and taking another feed from here I'll make it nice again that's more proper for diagram okay perfect so mark them properly with the stickers PD three 
PD, obviously on the diagram, but when you have something more more complicated than this, definitely <laughs> that will help. And this is power district three. Okay, that's how we're doing. Excellent. Get rid of those dots. Now, one more time, just repeating again. I'm turning this switch on, applying power. The only one locomotive, this guy, will start running. Okay? Then I'm doing the same thing here. Switching here, and this guy getting power. But the same power, okay? And I'm not talking about different transformers. I don't think so we really need it. Just one transformer. On a regular uh, layout with a bunch of blocks, I'll show you definitely how, but I don't want to complicate you with the two transformers. And then, I just want to do like this engine in, uh, in Power District 3, alright? So I'm turning the power off, uh, taking the switch off okay so they both off they're not running anymore and now I'm turning power on again switch on and this guy and I'm going transformer back and forth and this guy guy, guy moving back and forth this is it So that's the basic, guys. Again, it can be, I'm repeating myself, but it can be more complicated with like 20 of those switches and power blocks to 50 or whatever. Depends on, the, on your layout. But the, the principle is the same. Okay? Thanks for watching. Thank you, supporting business. And uh, this is patreon page to support our channel we'll see you in uh, very soon in different videos about basic dcc setup have a good one bye bye